How's it going, gang? It's me, MP Cavalier. Hanging out with your Do It Indie crew. We're at the uh, rehearsal spot of a local band called Deezen. And I'm standing here with uh, the lead singer of Deezen, Reverend Dan, uh, a local Indianapolis legend. And we're glad to have you here. Oh. Woo! <laughs> yeah. So uh, the reason I'm here tonight, other than to hear some really cool music, is uh, Saturday, January 18th at our own... Friday. Friday, January 18th, <laughs> um, at the Melody Inn, The Mel. Reverend Dan and Deason will be hosting a uh, really spectacularly special event for Indianapolis. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Um, putting together a show for Norton Records. They're good friends of mine, Miriam and Billy, have been friends of mine for years now. Um, so when the, de you know, when the atrocity happened, <laughs> that was Sandy. Yeah. Like, I, I, when it happened, it killed me because I couldn't fly back up there. I didn't have any extra vacation days at my job. So I was like, what can I do to help out with my friends? And I saw that they had a PayPal link, you know, for accepting donations for their complete, total <laughs> loss of everything. You yeah. Know? And uh, I just wanted to be able to help out the best way I can, and that's by putting on shows, and that's what I've been doing for t almost 20 years That's now. very cool. So yeah. Norton Records, for those of you who don't know, is a uh, New York, uh, Brooklyn-based, my hometown actually, Brooklyn, <laughs> uh, Brooklyn-based uh, record company. If you've ever heard uh, or been into the surf billy scene or the garage scene or the punk or garage scene from the like, 50s, 60s, and 70s or any of that kind of crazy like novelty music that inspired so many bands, um, you probably heard something that was on the Norton Records label. And uh, like Reverend Dan said there, the warehouse was completely wiped out in Hurricane Sandy. So yeah. you guys are going to try to help them out. That's really cool. And every, every dime that we get through the door and for the raffle sales is going straight to them. So it's one of those things where, you know, every $5 counts, and then the raffle tickets are a dollar a piece or six for five bucks. And we got great, uh, great stuff coming in, too. We got, you know, the lead singer, Mary Weiss of uh, uh, the Shangri Laws. She donated some uh, original 1965 fan club stuff for the Shangri Laws. And it was all autographed along with CDs, covers, and uh, t shirts and whatnot. And then I got. Uh, Legendary Tim Kerr from the, you know, punk rock band from the 80s, the Big Boys from Austin, Texas. He donated one of his new paintings he's doing. And then I've got a, I got an autograph poster by a legendary band, The Sonics. Okay. And I don't know if you're familiar with them, or if you're familiar with them, but you should be familiar with The Sonics. Absolutely. Uh, they're, they, they, it's a rare piece you will never see an autograph piece up for sale anywhere by the Sonics, by the entire band. That's a great raffle. Um, and Teresa Kay. Teresa Kay, she's been around the punk scene since its birth in New York. She lived with Stiff Baders from the Dead Boys. She used to have people over at her house all the time, uh, like Billy Idol, Joan Jett. Uh, everybody would show up at their apartment in Brookhead, New York, and she'd do photo work of them all. So anyway, she's donating uh, two big prints. One big print is uh, Stim Daters and the Dead Boys. And she did them out. And then the other one is uh, of the Cramps, like an early incarnation of the Cramps. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and that's where Norton ties in for sure. me. Because growing up being a skater kid, listen to the Cramps. Listen to the right, Cramps. Right. And then you listen to She Said by Hazel Atkins. You're like, who, who did that? You yeah, know, who yeah. is that? You see the guy's name, you go out looking for it. Who supplied that album to me? Norton Records. Norton Records, yeah. Norton. And that's they, how they had me fish hooked. I love yeah. Norton. And that's so cool when a when a when a little independent label like that like gets their hooks into mm -hmm. you. You know, that's very cool. So the show is Friday, January 18th at the Melody Inn. Right. Who else is on the bill? Eddie Price from the Empires. He's doing his one-man band. You got Deason going up next. We got the raffle, and then headline the whole shebang. You, you, there really should be a drum roll for this. <laughs> right. And what you're about to say, because it's huge. Cheetah Chrome from the Dead Boys. The Cheetah Chrome. The guitarist from the Dead Boys and the guitarist from proto-punk band Rocket from the Tombs being backed by members of Rocket from the Tombs and my drummer, Cupcake, from Deezen. <laughs> and so. now, if I'm not mistaken, Reverend Dan, the bass player, 
who's playing downstairs right now, mm -hmm. was also in Rocket. Yeah. Right? Yep. Right. Yep. He, he was in Rocket from the Tunes, and then they So there's going to be some stars. American punk rock royalty at the Melody Inn. That is very very, much that's very, 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 very <laughs> cool. Yeah. That's very cool. So, again, it's a benefit for uh, record company Norton Records out of Brooklyn. Hurricane Sandy wiped out their warehouse, and uh, insurance is not covering them for nope. anything, not for their loss of income and not for their loss of inventory. So these people are, from what I understand, what I heard, they are manually washing product they by are. hand. And then I think part of this money would go to reprint like album covers and stuff. Reprint, possibly even like pay for their help, pay for their yeah. new uh, new warehouse they got. And hopefully, you know, they don't get hit with another truck. Right, right, you know. So. Right. Okay, so again, last time, Friday, January 18th, Melody Inn, Benefit for Norton Records, Reverend Dan, Deason, Eddie Price, Cheetah Chrome. It's going to be awesome. It's an MP Cavalier, do it indeed.